Hello, hello. <coughs> What's going on? Welcome back for another video. Thank you so much for clicking. Let's get started. I have been wanting to film this video for quite a while, so I'm very excited for this one. But today I'm finally sitting down to listen to Loose by Nelly Furtado. She's a bit lengthy. We've got a lot to get through, so let's get to it. This album has 17 tracks. Out of those 17 tracks, I already know four of them so far. Man Eater, Promiscuous, Say It Right, and All Good Things Come to an End. So I'm gonna skip those four, but everything else will be brand new to me. This is my reaction for Loose by Nelly Furtado, and we're going to get started right now, track number one, Afraid, featuring Attitude. Wow. Did Timbaland produce this whole album? I'm very unfamiliar with her as an artist. I only know like the really, really popular songs, most of which come from this album. I haven't heard any of her other albums. I do know the Fly Like a Bird song and the four from this album that I previously mentioned. And I think that that's it. So I'm going into this really not knowing what to expect at all. Oh, hey. That's okay. Is this attitude? That's right. My friend Attitude here has a great attitude. I do feel like this could potentially give me a lot of blackout vibes because I know that Danja and Timberland at this time were very uh, intermixed when it came to producing. Yes, girl, get your friends involved. Very bold start to the album. I really love the production on this one. I really love the message of this one. I hope that there are songs on here that really show off her voice. <laughs> Relax. I hope that there are songs in here that really show off her voice because obviously her like mainstream hits don't necessarily do that. I don't know. I'm not very familiar with her as a vocalist. All right, track number two is Man Eater. We already know that one, so we're gonna skip it. Number three is a promiscuous interlude. It's only six seconds, so let's quickly hear this. I'm jamming right now. I see her in the background. I'm like, oh, snap. Did I turn you off? Nope. Didn't think so. Yeah, I think the interlude was unnecessary, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> track number four is Promiscuous, a song we know and love. So we're moving on to track number five, Glow. Definite blackout vibes. I was not far off with that guess. This has Danja and or Timbaland written all over it. Yeah, the beats are sick. Well, that one was quite a good time. What I'm wondering at this exact moment is, do we know how she ended up working with Timbaland and Danja or where the link up was, where the connection was? But from what I know, she didn't work with them before this album, right? Her sound was quite different before this one. How did she end up here? Because that obviously worked out quite well for her. All right, this is track number six, Showtime. What? Our bands in this video too? What video? Wait, can I read this real quick? Some of these productions are really loud and I feel like I can't hear her voice. Showtime, our love's coming out. Lights, camera, action. Show what we're about. Cause it's Showtime. Let's show the world you're my boy, I'm your girl, because it's showtime. Okay. So this is a PDA song. A proud announcement of said relationship. Got it. Mm. See? I need the vocal moments. I'm really loving how different this one sounds than the rest of them so far. Stands out from the pack thus far. Oh, 
showtime. Yes, it is. Okay, showtime. I like this one. I like that, like I said, I like that it feels so much different than the other ones so far. Very different vibe instrumentally. Because it's showtime. She had some nice little vocal moments sprinkled in there. Here for it. Showtime. Okay, the next actual song on the album is a Spanish song, but before that, there is a quick interlude. 11 seconds. Let's hear it. Okay, and that takes us into track number eight, which is called No Hey Aguil. Sorry about that. So I do have the English lyrics pulled up. You can't see this, huh? Looks like the song title translates to There Is No Equal. Let's hear it. This one made me feel like I was in a parade. Not at a parade, in a parade. Like a big ass street fair. Um, love the beat. I was gonna say I wish that there was an English version of this song, cause I love the beat so much, but it probably wouldn't sound as good in English, let's be honest. Nothing does. Okay, well that was fun, we love a fiesta. Not entirely sure what she's saying, but I got the gist of it, so. All right, next up is track number nine, it's called Tibusque. I probably didn't say that right either. It looks like only the chorus is in Spanish and the rest of the song is in English. Cause I tried to look up the translation and Google was like, you literally speak this language, so. But it looks like the title translates to, I looked for you. A classic 2006 beat. Okay, what does this chorus mean? I searched for you on the bottom of the rocks and I didn't find you. In the cold morning and in the night, I searched I searched for you probably until I went mad. Okay, a search party. Contact the police, we got a missing persons. Mm. I love her voice on this one. A poet. I do kind of feel like the chorus of this song doesn't quite fit with the rest of the song. Something about it doesn't quite connect. I really love the verses. I even like the spoken word poetry moment we just had, but then the chorus, like, it kind of lost. Okay, this one I feel like, I think I would have preferred it if it had just been her. I think that's why it feels disconnected for me. I would have just preferred that she sang the whole song. I do really love the sound of her voice on this one. No shade to my man Juanes here. But yeah, I just personally would have preferred it as a solo. All right, track number 10 is Say It Right, a song I know and love. So we're gonna skip it. This is track number 11, Do It. Oh, it's giving 90s. Uh -uh -uh. I've heard this song before. Is there a sample in this song? Why do I know this one? I have heard this song before. I have no idea where or why or how, but I'm not that familiar, so let me keep listening. You know what this one's giving? I've been trying to place it. It reminds me of Funky Town. <laughs> Just a little bit. There's something in the production that reminds me of the little, you know the little sound in Funky Town that kind of sounds like a computer or something? All right, that was Do It. I really like this one. I have heard this song somewhere before, but yeah, I love it. I mean, every pop album should have at least one good jazzercise moment, if we're being honest. I love that she's continuing to give new sounds throughout the album. All right, this is track number 12, In God's Hands. I saw that all, my love had died. I'm getting a ballad. We forgot about now I the window Wow. A complete 180. This feels like it lines up much more with her older sound, but um, it's very fitting actually for her voice. Damn. 
I feel like this is a very relatable one. There's something very freeing with any difficult situation in sort of just accepting that it's no longer up to you and surrendering it to a bigger power, whatever that is to you. You know, like if it's meant to be, it will be. I really like the emotion in her voice in this one. The production was interesting. It was like almost acoustic, but not quite because they threw a couple little details in here. This was very pretty. It was very calming. All right, track number 13. This is another interlude. So we're going to go ahead and play this one. It's wicked. Is she from the East Coast? All right, and that's gonna carry us into track 14, Wait For You. Oh, f I'm already very obsessed with this beat. Just like a movie? Yeah, they were not playing around when they made this beat. They were not playing around when they made this beat. Why did they put this one so far down the album? I'm kind of upset. I'm loving this one. What is this? Hey. Hey. First of all, I wanna say that I cannot believe this song is five minutes and 11 seconds long. It did not feel that long. I'm saying that as a compliment. I can see this one having been a single. My question is, since she continuously says just like a movie, has this song ever been used in a movie? Cause if not, I feel like that was a big miss for the film industry entirely. I guess that's not too late. Someone could still use it. But I mean, right, right? I can already picture it. Actually. Yo, give me the camera, I'll do it. That was one of my favorite ones so far, I really loved it. All right, track number 15 is All Good Things Come to an End, a song I already know. So we're moving on to track number 16, Let My Hair Down. Hello? Excuse me? <laughs> Is that code for something? Am I missing? <laughs> Am I missing something there? We'll hit it like the Rose Bowl. I do like sports, but I don't like wearing shorts. That was an interesting lyrical choice. I was really in it until that. That kind of threw me off. Hang on. Ma'am, what's going on with some of these lyrics? <laughs> Let's start a frat, gamma, 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 fat. At first I was getting like a buttons by the Pussycat Dolls energy. Now it's giving me a little bit more my humps energy by the Black Eyed Peas. <laughs> There is a very fun like snake charmer energy to this one. I love the production, it's quite nasty. However, there are some lyrical choices in here that I'm not sold on. <laughs> Specifically, I don't like wearing shorts. I don't know about that one, yeah. It is a very fun song though, don't get me wrong. All right, this is track number 17, the last track on this album, Somebody to Love. This is giving big Shakira energy. Yes, it is. Shakira, Shakira. What is that? Let's give it up for the instruments. The musicians, the instruments, 
Street Fair Fiesta part two, okay? You know, normally I really prefer when artists end albums on like a sad or a mellow note, but in this case, I actually really like this as the closer. I love how much focus and attention she put on the instruments. I was honestly having so much fun that I don't think I heard any of the words. A clear sign of a good time. All right. And that's some way somehow already brings us to the end of this album. Overall, I think I can honestly say it's what I would have predicted it to sound like. I love, love, love pop music from this era. The hit songs on this album are just absolutely timeless. And I'm wondering how this album compares to the rest of her albums, because I feel like she kind of just did one that sounded like this and then never again. It's kind of crazy to me that after putting out a project that was this successful, she never really found her way back into the mainstream music. I'm gonna go ahead and slide a ranking of the album right over here for you so you can see how I felt about everything after my first initial listen. This ranking does not include the songs that I've heard before, just the new ones that I listened to today. As always, drop your every and any thought in the comment section below. Fill me in on all the background information that I'm missing. Let me know what you think about these songs and this album as a whole. And that is just about gonna wrap it up for this video. As always, I would like to thank you so much for watching. Please take care of yourself and I will see you next time.